Hi, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Ibrahim Omar, and uh, today I'll show you how to make this uh, uh, this coupling in uh, SolidWorks. Uh, basically, uh, it was asked by one of my subscriber, uh, Sayed Musa Ahmed, to make a tutorial on uh, uh, SolidWorks assembly for beginners. So, first of all, I'll model uh, this in SolidWorks. Then I'll assemble it and uh, lastly i'll animate this uh, coupling right so let's go to new and let's go to part and select ok uh, first of all i'll change my background to plain white and my units are already in mmgs let's go to let's say front plane and select the sketch and we'll make a basic uh, circle of let's say 120 millimeters let's smart dimension it Let's change it to 120 and select OK. Uh, next, uh, I'll go to features, I'll go to extruded boss and I'll uh, extrude it to let's say 20 millimeters. Select OK. Next, uh, select this face. Remember, we can uh, sketch on uh, faces. Select face, select, uh, go to sketch and we'll make another circle of uh, let's say 70 millimeters. Let's dimension it and uh, let's go to features, let's go to extruded boss again and let's extrude uh, it up to 50 millimeters. Okay. Uh, next is uh, I'll make uh, uh, cut extrusion. Let's go to sketch. This time I select this face, go to sketch and uh, let's, uh, let's select this offset entity and uh, reverse and uh, let's select ok right so the dimension of this circle will be 50 i think we'll change it to 5 so this dimension will be 60 ok go to feature this time i'll select this extruded cut command and let's select uh, through all ok uh, so uh, the basic uh, geometry is uh, done now i'll make uh, a pcd pitch uh, pitch circle dia let's go to uh, let's select this face sketch and i'll make construction circle let's make it uh, construction for construction let's check this box and let's dimension the circle uh, 95 millimeters okay next is uh, I'll, I'll go to uh, this i select this point entity and uh, select this point and select this point and make vertical okay next is uh, i'll go to circular sketch pattern go uh, select this point and uh, I'll increase the count 6 ok so the basic uh, geometry is done and uh, let's make uh, a fillet of 2 millimeters here let's change it to 2 and uh, we can add uh, a 2 millimeter chamfer let's say on this face and on this face ok so uh, basic uh, geometry is done and uh, let's go to appearance let's drag it and let's go to let's say steel and uh, let's stainless steel okay so the basic uh, geometry is done and uh, let's go to let's say features and let's go to whole wizard Let's go to counter bore and just drag it. ISO, hex bolt, uh, M5, normal. Okay. Let's go to position. Let's select this 3D sketch. That's why I have created this point. Uh, let's select this point, this point, in fact, this point, and uh, this point. In fact, just rotating my model this point and this points go to type again and let's make let's make through all 
okay uh let's change it to uh, let's say 50 okay so uh this whole wizard command is done as well and now i'll save my file let's go to save let's go to save and i'll save my file let's say here uh, uh yeah part one uh let's part one okay next is uh, i'll make uh, another part right uh, i'll make another part and uh, let's save as it again and let's change it to part 2 and let's delete this uh, relation and let's go to uh, whole wizard again and this time i'll select this hole and uh, let's change it to let's say 5 or i think i'll i'll go to show custom sizing and i'll change it to 5.5 because i'm uh, using uh, m5 uh, uh, bolt let's go to position let's go to 3d sketch and uh, let's select these points again select this point it's rotating my model this point this point and this point i think we are done okay so uh, now i can assemble this model right so let's go to let's say let's go to make assembly from part or uh, uh, let's say make assembly from part let's select uh, in fact uh, this is the older assembly which i have already uh, assembled so let's delete this let's delete this uh, let's go to uh, assembly and uh, insert components uh, part 2 okay and uh, go to insert components again uh, browse and let's select this part one okay so uh, i'll change my background again and uh, let's uh, the first uh, part which uh, i always assemble uh, in solidworks is always fixed so i can uh, make float right but i think it's better to uh, let's say uh, i'll make this float and i'll uh, make this fix right so uh, i can drag it i can move it anywhere in the uh, in the screen uh, but uh, i have to make a rotation so let's go to this let's select rotate component now i can rotate it right select ok so uh, first of all i need a concentric uh, relation let's say if i can see from it i need a concentric relation uh, between this part and this part so i'll select this cylinder and i'll select this cylinder hold control key and select this concentric relation right as you can see that these are now uh, these are now aligned but i can move it uh, in the in the y direction or in the x direction so i have to make another constraint so let's select this face and this face hold shift key uh, i can uh, constrain it from uh, this circle and this circle as well hold hold control key and select this coincident relation right now uh, now it cannot go uh, beyond this but it can rotate as you can see so i have to make another uh, uh, let's say another uh, constraint let's select this uh, cylinder or uh, this uh, dia hold control key select this and make another relation this time co concentric and select ok right so uh, this uh, basic uh, assembly is done and now i'll uh, uh, I use uh, SolidWorks toolbox 
for uh, assembling these uh, bolts and nuts so let's go to smart fasteners and as you can see that it is uh, showing uh, error select ok because uh, I haven't uh, 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 I haven't added this toolbox let's select this toolbox and uh, select this add in now right now I can uh, use SOLIDWORKS toolbox let's go to smart fasteners and select ok and uh, let's select this and select uh, and click add uh, as you can see that all the uh, all the similar uh, holes uh, which I have already created uh, has filled with these uh, hex bolts and uh, let's go back uh, in fact let's rotate this view uh, you can see that uh, uh, let's say I want to increase uh, these sizes so let's go to uh, let's say length and I want to increase it up to 50 select ok and you can see that uh, the, uh, the length of the bolts has increased let's say uh, I want uh, uh, cosmetic threads or I want uh, real uh, schematic threads as you can see that uh, these are uh, these looks real threads uh, let's say uh, I want to uh, add uh, uh, nut hex nut so let's go to uh, I want to add uh, at the bottom stack uh, I can add uh, some uh, washers or uh, uh, say some uh, some kind of a washer here uh, so I can go to top st uh, stack and I can select any washer uh, but uh, let's say I want to add uh, some uh, uh, some nut in the bottom stack so let's go to uh, bottom stack and in fact let's select this uh, hex flange nut and as you can see that these nuts are added uh, in all uh, let's select ok so uh, this uh, the assembly is done and uh, now I can hide these sketches these helping sketches and I can hide this uh, PCD as well uh, so uh, we are done with this uh, modeling and assembling lastly uh, I'll show you how to uh, how to make uh, basic animation so let's go to let's say uh, exploded view and uh, let's select uh, this time uh, first I'll select uh, these uh, these nuts uh, hold uh, control key while uh, selecting these uh, flying nuts and uh, lastly I'll pick this and uh, I'll drag it in this direction and uh, select done right now I'll uh, select all the bolts hold uh, shift uh, hold control key in fact in fact uh, just uh, uh, in fact just select this this lastly I'll select this bolt okay now I'll uh, drag it in the opposite direction of the uh, nuts lastly select done uh, now I'll drag uh, this part here and uh, select done and I'll let's say drag this part uh, in the extension ok select uh, done and uh, select ok let's go to assembly and uh, let's uh, select this animate collapse right as you can see that this uh, animation in solidworks I can save it and uh, I can save this uh, little project so uh, that's it uh, uh, I'm not going to render it 
that's it for her, uh, today's uh, tutorial i hope you like it and uh, if you have uh, any questions any queries related to this uh, tutorial or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more uh, informative videos thank you